to spend money on this game, spend responsibly. Use the Aptoid App Store. Get up to 35% off on all in-game purchases. Use the promo code MUSHROOM5. You can see me doing it in the background. And if you'd like to do so, the information how to do so is in the description to the video. Save money. Put more in your pocket. Hey everyone, welcome back to Legend of Mushroom with Genghis. Looking at the cross-server arena, I wanted to go over strategies to help you maximize your points because it's super important. It's basically these glory badges. They're one of the only ways to get Awakening Stones or uh, Red, so Red Soul Selection 2. So it is really, really important to maximize your points. So if we look here, I am Platinum five platinum one about to be diamond three so right here i'm getting 630 and some other rewards there it'll be nice when i move up and i start to get mounts now i'm a little lower for my power because i started on this server three or four days late and then when the cross server arena initial rankings were coming out i did really bad on the random matchups to randomly assign you and i ended up i think was i like where was i i was gold something i moved all the way i was like gold five i think and i clawed my way all the way up so there's basically a couple strategies so one if you're strong if you think you're strong like first of all you want to get into the promotion stage right so you want, oh wait, let's see. The next rank is locked for this round. No promotions or demotions. Additional rewards will be distributed based on your ranking. Oh, okay. So I actually heard about something like this where people said that they got locked and they can't be promoted anymore and it's complete garbage. So yeah, so anyways, I was at a stage platinum two where I could be promoted. I could still go over the strategy. And basically, there's three strategies. One is fight the top guys and try to knock them down. That's if you're strong. If you're not strong, if you're losing to the top guys, don't do that. Don't feed them points. Another strategy is basically just go to the bottom and just start attacking. So first challenge right here. Let's go. 25th place. And I should win easily, but uh, yep, luckily I did. I got a bit scary there, but I one-shot at him. So go right to the bottom again and pick the next bottom one. So you could also, the hybrid strategy would be to look at them and see what they're good at. So this guy has combo and I'm a lot stronger than him. So I'm not going to be scared of him and I'm going to go after him. I already challenged him. That was the guy I just fought. So this guy, 48, I'm Picking off people with low power. So this guy has 88% combo and a high crit rate. That could be uh, dangerous. Now this guy in 49, he is combo and lower crit rate. And we're going to go after him. But generally, if you just pick the bottom, it should be really easy. Like if I, I, I will also use uh, gems to get four extra attacks. So what I mean by here, right here, I press this and I will grab four extra ones. I will not do the fifth one, which costs 800 gems, but the fourth is 400. I do feel like that is kind of worth it for the glory badges. So we're just gonna keep going all the way down and I'll press the bottom one. I've already fought him. Press the next bottom one, already fought him. Press the next bottom. And one thing that I do think is important is to do these attacks early in the day. Because think about this strategy. You're going after the bottom. That means other people are gonna do this strategy too. Like this ain't rocket science here. So if you can force yourself up to the top, people won't randomly select you and put attacks on you. So I, th I do think it's really important to attack early in the day and get your rank high and fake it, right? Fake it till you make it. Just get yourself really high in the standings. and Because no one's looking up here and being like, oh, you know, it'd be awesome to fight the top five guys. The only people who are doing that are like number one, two, three, four, five. And this guy from my server, actually, Casual. 28, great name, by the way. Casual AF. We all know what the AF stands for. 28 million. I'm not going to fight him. Because I know what's going to happen. Because he's on my server and he's a warrior. 
And it's a very bad matchup for me. But, oh, I did pretty well there. Usually uh, it goes a lot quicker for him defeating me. So I do know to avoid him. So let's go back to our bottom feeding strategy. And boom, right there. We're at the sixth bottom guy now. Not even like scouting them. I don't even look at them. I just know that other people have probably done the same thing and just bumped them down. Now I have three attacks left. And let's uh, actually look at them a little bit just to be sure. So this guy's like jack of all trades. He's got evasion, combo, crit rate, a little bit of... Uh, little bit of uh, counter in there. We, we already fought him. So Koala. Koala's got very high combo. Low crit. And we're going to fight him. And I'm pretty confident that uh, we're going to win that. Crit, when it's low, it's, uh, it's just a disaster for you, basically. I have low crit. But I'm able to overcome it. Because I'm awakened and I have some other good... Uh, Good skills. So this is the guy we just fought, just to show you my crit rate. So I'm only 36%. This guy's 31. I should be like 60, but I've had unbelievably bad luck on my gears. So right here, yeah. Basically, in these matchups, when you look, the person to eliminate the pal first, or the clone first, it's pretty much a done deal at that point. So right here... This guy is only 22,000, but in this division, so I'm going to look at him. And yeah, he's not very good. HDR Vun, Vun, looks like you're going to go down here. And basically, I just pumped myself up in the standings. Whoa, he's, oh, I got really lucky there with a final hit, a kill shot. So those are all my attacks. I'm sitting in ninth place. And not many people are going to be looking at the top saying... Yeah, we, we want to fight the top 10. So this should hold me up there. But unfortunately, as it said there, I can't advance. What is that? So I don't understand. So everyone who's in Platinum 1 right now is locked out of the Diamond League or above. That seems completely unfair for the rewards. Additional rewards will be distributed based on your ranking. Okay, trust you on that one. Let's see. I'm going to compare, actually. I'm going to keep track of what the rewards are. I'm going to take a nice little picture here and see what, uh, what we should be winning also after that. So got that in the video, and we'll go back to it and see if they give me anything additional. Anyways, let me know if you guys have a strategy, and like, subscribe, leave a comment.